everyone, it's Panda here, and today I'm here with my first review on Music Festival Venus and Abbey. Fun fact, I got these at Kroger. They were seven bucks each. Well, not really seven bucks, um, maybe like seven twenty. I paid fifteen dollars for all for both of these in all, which was a really good steal. So I highly recommend go check your Kroger. Maybe Publix too, I don't know. Just go check your Kroger, because they are on sale. Everyone else is getting seven dollar dolls, so just go do it. As you can see, I already have them all out of the box, and let's start with Venus's box. Alright, so here you can see at the top it has the the um Monster High logo with music notes and a zipper going down. It also has a chain going around here too. Um, and as you can see the skull is wearing headphones. It has the Monster High logo on the side. And then her phrase, just point me to where it's loudest. And there, those are instructions on the inside, just in case you're wondering. And then on the bottom is Venus McFly Traps, half of artwork, and then it has a music festival logo. And Venus McFly Trap, daughter of the plant monster. There's more music notes going on. 16, six and up. Here's the side of the box. And here's the back. Sorry, it got ripped a little bit. I was to just open them. It has the Monster High logo, Be Unique. The Be Yourself, Be Unique, Be a Monster. And then here is VIM, Monster High Music Festival. All access for all venues. This pass is non-transferable and entitles backstage access and pre-concert seating. And it has Venus McFly Trap in her awesome artwork. Um, as you can see, her hair is not spiked, but I think you could do that yourself if you wanted to. I might do that in the future. And here's her awesome artwork music notes and other two dolls you can get in this line I have those and then just some boring information down there and in case you're wondering here's the other side of the box all right now let's look at Abby's box you can see it's basically the same only her phrase is where is stage for Yiddish folk music which sounds like something she would say and then it says Abby Bonville daughter of the Yeti and then half for artwork and the music festival logo and everything else is the same except the back basically the same as well only it has her artwork really really cool all right let's get to the ghouls we're gonna start with venus mcfly trap here is venus let's get a closer look at her so here's her hair swept to the side and on the shave side, it has zigzag going on. I don't like music waves. She's got a little bit of box hair going on. That's okay, I'll fix that later. And her hair is green and pink. Kind of looks red on the camera, sorry about that. All right, and then here's her face. She has purple eyeshadow all over her eyes. Um, and then she has pink lips. And then here's her outfit. She has the VIM pass around her neck. And then her the top of her dress is pink, very soft material, and it has a skullette, only the skullette's a looking a little different. I think that's her skullette, I'm not sure. Um, and then it has a zigzaggy design all around it. And then she has a green spiky belt. And then the main portion of her dress is black with these triangular designs going on. I wouldn't say that's splatter paint, I'm not sure what it is, but here you can see it's all around her dress. And then the bottom of her dress has um, fishnet trimming. And then her bracelet, it's um, like green vines. And it's the same on the other side. And But this one she has a pink spike bracelet. All right, so here's her shoes. She has um, green vines again on both sides, just like her bracelet. And then here's her rocking shoes going on. Give you a 360 of that. Looking really, really cool. So she's got like spikes here and then vine designs. Really cool. Like, you know, tree vines. I don't mean the vine app. Oh, I almost forgot here. She's wearing one earring. Kind of looks like a, um, I guess a vine. I'm not sure. All right. So that is Venus. Let's get to Abby now. All right. Here is Miss Abby Bombable. Looking super cool, no pun intended. Okay, yeah, pun intended. Oh, I also forgot to mention, these are budget dolls, so they don't come with stands. Neither do they come with brushes. That's okay. All right, so let's start with her hair. It goes down to her thighs. Um, 
and it has blue streaks on both sides and her bangs have pink streaks. And then here you can see she's wearing a scarf in her hair. It has, um, it's black and it has, oops, sorry. And it has blue, pink and white uh, stripes going on. Not only stripes are like, uh, I don't know. It has also little sparkles too and it's tied on the back of her head. And it shouldn't come off because they like sewed it in there, I guess you could say. All right, so here's her makeup. She has, she has like pink eyeshadow and blue eyeshadow and then red lips. My doll, her one of her fangs is missing. Well, not really missing, it's just faded, but that's okay. I didn't notice that. Um, and then her earrings, she's wearing one that's a purple icicle and then the other, a blue snowflake. And then her outfit is really cool. It kind of reminds me of a renaissance, like the sleeves do. And, um, she's wearing her VIM pass. Her top um, has these sleeves going on, look very renaissance-y. And they fade to different colors. Like this goes from red to blue on her sleeves, red to purple, red to purple here, and then all the way down. And then it has like, again, just like uh, Venus has those like spikes going on. And then she also has a belt too, which is blue and looks like icicles. Her skirt is pink and blue splatter paint. It's kind of like a splatter design. I'm gonna get to her awesome shoes. Of course they're see-through like most of her dolls. And they have like this, this um, ice thing going on. Um, and then she has blue spiked belts around them and they came with rubber bands all around them. So you might want to keep those on because it looks like these belts can easily come off. And of course they're heels, just like all Monster High dolls are. All right, that's Abby Abominable. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know these are older dolls, but I still really wanted to review them. Um, like I said before, they I got them at Kroger for seven bucks each. Really good steal, so go check your Kroger. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will see y'all later. Panda out. Peace.